Hello viewers. Today I'll show you another rare and forgotten meat recipe from North India called Mohan Maas which uses mawa and milk along with meat. It is off white in color and mild to taste. this recipe I'll be using 1 kg boneless goat meat or mutton as it is called in India, 1 bay leaf, 1 mace blade, 2 sticks of cinnamon, a few cloves and green cardamoms, 1 teaspoon chili seeds, 1 and a half teaspoon white pepper powder, 2 tablespoons of almond and cashew powder, 4 tablespoons of thick yogurt, 200 milliliters of whole milk, 1 cup red onion paste, 1 tablespoon each ginger garlic paste. Let's heat some ghee or clarified butter in a cast iron pot. Let it melt and heat up and then add the whole spices to the pot. Let them sizzle a bit and then add the onion paste into the pot and fry on high heat for a few minutes. Then add the ginger garlic paste and fry for two more minutes. Then add the meat pieces into the pot and mix them in. Fry the meat on high heat for two to three minutes to seal it on all sides. Then add the white pepper powder into the pot and mix it in. Keep frying till you reach this kind of consistency. Then add the yogurt to the pot and mix it in. Add salt according to your taste. And give the pot a stir. Keep frying for another few minutes. Like I am doing here. Then add the almond and cashew powder into the pot. And blend it in. Add a bit of milk to deglaze the pot and give the pot a stir add enough water to cook the meat and mix in the water so that everything is well blended then add the milk into the pot Give the pot a stir and cover and cook on low flame for one hour. Keep a watch on the pot from time to time. After an hour, take the lid off. You can see that the meat is nicely cooked. Now it is time to add the speciality Indian ingredient mawa which is dried solidified milk. This is homemade mawa and I am going to add all of it into the pot. You can add far less or not, none at all but the taste of the curry won't be the same without the mawa. Mix it in, let it melt and our rich smooth delicious Mohan mass is ready to be plated up. Garnish with some freshly chopped coriander leaves and serve with chapatis or pulaos for a truly sumptuous meal. This is my own recipe of Mohan Maas which I have recreated from snippets of information from varied sources. Give my take on this lost Indian recipe a try and enjoy.